Hello, R360. My name is Gavin Lemoyne, and uh oh. Ah! Ow! Son of a gun. Uh, you're watching R360 News. Good morning, Red Hawks, and welcome to your R360 News. I'm Bren Laverne. And I'm Isaiah Friesen. It is Tuesday, October 25th, and day four on the school calendar. In our lunch report, we have chicken heroes on the menu for today. Tomorrow on the Hawks Nest Cafe will be Subway Day. Mrs. Lopez is requesting that all grades 7 to 8 boys on the volleyball team head to the gym at lunch today for an unexpected but mandatory practice in preparation for their game against Starbucks tomorrow. Attention all high school students. If you are interested in refing or scorekeeping the junior high triple ball games in November, please sign up in the student lounge or see Mrs. Nix for more information. And it's time to take a look at your school hockey pool standings. Currently in first place are the grade 1-2-B Super Marios. Grade 711 are four points back in second place. The defending champions, grade 12 bench warmers, are in third. Followed by the grade 8 greats, team 11, and grade 5 6 a fish on ice. There's still a long way to go to the free pizza party. Good luck to all the teams the rest of the way. Yesterday, Perk Mobile Coffee Bar was at Rona, and we had two junior reporters covering the story. Let's take a look. Thank you, Isaiah, and hello, Red Hawks. This is Elizabeth and Ira, and we're on location this morning at Rona Rosemary with the Perk Mobile Coffee Bar. I'm here with Meg and Emily of Perk Coffee. Can you tell us where do you all travel with the mobile coffee bar? So currently, we travel to Ile de Chaine, St. Malo, Rosemore, St. Pierre, and Lorette. What gave you the idea to donate 5% of your sales to different organizations? We believe that to be a part of the community, we need to be involved in more than just selling coffee, but contributing to local organizations that are a foundation of community building. And here we are inside of Rona talking to floor manager Roly. What inspired you to host food and coffee trucks here at your store? Well, I figured it would be great to talk to the owner, Tyler, and uh, we thought it'd be good for the town, bring something different, as well as drive a little bit of traffic into the store. Um, seeing people that we haven't seen before is uh, really good. When can we expect the next parking lot event? Well, we're probably looking at uh, early spring, like April, um, just because of with the colder weather, it's a little harder to have uh, carts outside. Tyler Duick, co-owner of Rona Rosenord. He's also a Rosenord alumnus, uh, class of 2001. And Tyler, we just want to say thank you very much for supporting our broadcast program, for inviting us down to Rona and uh, to the Perth Coffee Bar. And we want to present you with this Rosenord Red Hawks hat. Thank you. Thank you very much. A huge thank you to Brick and to Rona for supporting our broadcasting club. Grant Isaiah, back to you in the studio. thinking there was going to be some kind of perk to this. Thank you Elizabeth and Ira. Stay tuned to the news in the coming weeks to find out the grand total that was raised at yesterday's event. The R360 News team has very happy birthday wishes going out to Elijah Deacon for today. Happy birthday Elijah. October the 25th be with you or something. Those are all of your announcements for this morning. Tune in tomorrow for your next Milk Draw winner. This is Isaiah Friesen. And Bryn Laverne, signing off. Have a great day at school, everyone. And this chair doesn't